neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Got a receiver and he dropped it. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down right around the 20. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. From their own 20-yard line, third down. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 35. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. From their own 35 yard line, first down. Right, running back's got it. Tackle made at the 40. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's level at the 49-yard line. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Aaron and out long. And he's got it. He's all the way. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Cole's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shut him down. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. And he 
and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 35. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. <laughs> Setting up play action. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he's got it, touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 55-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 14-0. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Keep 15, keep 15. Mike Moore, Mike Moore, yeah. And he gets a yard on the run. from their own 26-yard line. It's second down. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. That'll bring up third and inches. of converting on third down with the running game. From midfield, first down. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. As he threw and he completes it. He's hit and taken down. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That makes it second and 10. wide scrambling around and down he goes at about the 25 yard line this is the eighth play of this drive
got some open field. And he's tackled at about the 15-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and 10. Ball on the 15. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. The defense scoops it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Boy, they're in a big hole early, and it doesn't look like it's getting any smaller. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He fights forward to about the 16. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. The Warriors quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. Matt will bring it in to the first quarter of action. The Cougars lead it by two touchdowns. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the tight end, and he is drilled at the 44. and 10. The ball on the 43-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Huge fan of the play action in college football because the play action it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game and it puts them out of position and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the drive. That brings up second and nine. It's the ninth play of the drive. Good outside run there. The offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. They bring him down in the backfield. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Play action. And he's taken down around the two-yard line. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And it pays off. Touchdown.
that's the PAT. A 12-play, 84-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things change in a big way before halftime. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And he just gets rid of it. Fourth down, I'm coming as they go three and out. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. Hayton will be the return man. <laughs> Booming kick. <laughs> Hayton fields it to 30. He gets hit out of bounds right around midfield. The Cougars are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Here's the pass. Broken up. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. From the 50. Second down. He's out of bounds at the 47-yard line. He fires right. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He hauls in his second touchdown catch. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. To kick this one away. Excellent kick. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. There's a strike complete. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He scrambled. Bounces off a would-be tackler. And he's level at the 40-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. The Warriors taking their first time out of the half. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Look at his 
scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. Fires up, and he's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He's on the run. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. He gets it up, and he's got it. So at the end of the half, the Cougars in front, 28-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career, dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blowout. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. We get on games all the time. They start to get out of hand. You got to empty the bucket. So, guys... Back to you. Have some fun. Tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Davis and Pollock, you should be here instead of Herbstreit and myself. Second half just about ready to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Second it's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop at the 37. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball in their own 47. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Now 
Now he's flushed and they got it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. He goes downtown. And a great catch downfield. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. i got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done, preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Slings it. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Nice run there. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down, five wide. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. Receivers got it on the screen. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And he will score. And he adds the extra point. for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Warriors couldn't get much going in the first half offensively, but they've really got it going here in the third quarter. I think this is a great example of just making the right adjustments at halftime. The staff got together, made the adjustments, and boy, this quarterback and this offense have gone out there and found their rhythm. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He chucks it downfield. The junior makes the catch. And he's tackled at the 18. That makes it first and 10. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. They'll bring him down at the 
the 14-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Picks up five with the carry. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's got an opening, and he's got the touchdown. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Cole's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and, and just every week he's impressed us. And then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game, just his competitive spirit leading this team. And up to this point, just a flawless performance. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven in the play. That'll bring up third of each of And down he goes. 48-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 48. Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Cougars with an 18-point cushion. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in. Number seven, the intended receiver. Third down now, they need to get it to the 25. He launches one for the end zone. It's going the other way. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. 
scrambling around. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. You know, this team obviously did not have a great game today, but they're capable of making plays like this. And maybe a play like this can give them the confidence to try to get into the next game next week and realize, guys, this is what we're capable of doing. And unfortunately, we just didn't have a great game today. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. Cole gets three yards on that scramble. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. They come out on an empty backfield. Zips it to the tight end, and they make the stop around the 23-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. That's a great tackle at the 19. trouble but he can't shake the defense the defenders played the snap count perfectly they found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away so it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the 10th play of this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets sacked on the play. That is a loss of seven. That makes it four and nine. Fourth and long here after the sack. Heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. He scores. What a play. the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Just over two minutes in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 41. First 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 46 yard line, it's second down. going to be sacked for a loss. That makes it third and 15. Wants to go long and done. And that's his receiver who's wide open. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Excellent open field tackle. From the 42-yard line, first down. We have less than a minute to go. Here's an opening. Makes it to the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Cole's big performance today, it's going to be tough for him to celebrate, though, because they end up with a loss. Well, it's a tough day for his team. You know, he had a great in individual performance, but you, know, you think about the team first, obviously, if you're this star player, and he cannot be happy with, uh, even though he had a great game, this team ends up losing the football game. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.